I eat and I poop and I smoke and I sit just to eat some more to poop some more, all the while smoking and wondering how to destroy that rebel base on level 5. That's no way to live. Uh, YouTube is a huge part of my life. It really is. Um, to a fault, really, just because it's not a healthy lifestyle sitting in front of a computer and making videos and obsessing over it and stuff like that. I'm originally from Florida. I grew up there, went to high school there, uh, and the day after graduation I went to Huntsville, Alabama. I started recording the videos. I wanted desperately to move out. I did not like Alabama at all. It just wasn't my kind of place. So I had no money. So I asked all of my subscribers if they wanted to send in some money. It would be awesome. This would take me out there, you know, all the normal stuff. And overnight they donated uh, over $1,000 to get me out here. Just overnight, we're talking 12, 16 hours. There was no YouTube. I'd be probably still a waiter. I'd probably still be in Alabama. Before, it was just like, uh, I make videos on YouTube. And now, it's like, hey, I make videos. You know, check them out. It's cool. So, it's definitely changed my life over the past two years. I found out Lucky had um, heart disease about a year ago. She was 13, and she had so much life in her. I didn't know what to do, and I made this video on YouTube asking people what they think I should do. Should I, um, you know, go to a doctor? Should I, you know, put her down? It was just getting really, really bad. And I also said I couldn't afford all of her bills because getting x-rays and and echocardiograms and blood work is just uh, I just couldn't afford it and so many people came to me and said that they would donate and they wanted to help and they loved Lucky and it, it's it's crazy to, to know that people care so much about you so I actually raised enough money to take her to the doctor and I posted a video. The next day I raised all the money, took her to the, to the specialist. She was there for three hours. She was there um, for so long. I got her back and the doctor said, you know, she's really, really, really bad. If we change her medicine, um, she has a good three, six months. So I was like, oh, that's great, you know, we'll change her medicine. And she came out of the animal hospital and she was running around. She was such a bull. She just like was full of life. The overwhelming response I got from people, from strangers and people I knew, just like, don't worry, you know, your dog is sick, but, you know, try this, try this doctor, try this remedy, try herbal medicine. Like tons of like information flew in from like people I never spoke to. YouTube is like, it's a part of my life. I'm going to get my head shaved. Alright, stand behind me, honey. Alright, so here we go. I just want to get out of my head. I go deeper in. <laughs> I can see the way I can. When I was filming that, um, that proposal, I just just watching it, just you feel it over and home. over and over and over. <laughs> we'll get Stop being broken. Will you marry me? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Proposing to her was my best video I've ever done. I was really like nervous because I get nervous on camera a lot. I don't I think I even noticed the camera. I was really happy when he pulled off his hat, and it's, that's really what I wanted. I wouldn't choose any other way. I, I love the way I did it because I that was that was my way. Really, I couldn't see anything other than like right there in front of me what was going on. I completely forgot everybody else was in the room. The fact that he was able to pull it off in the end and go back into remembering to talk to the camera and finish that story was like beyond what I could have done. There's a thick viscous glue And it's keeping you mired And probably lonesome too And I'm watching you struggle Just till you break the skin